Hey there, everybody. Fox 35, Storm Team Meteorologist Noah Bergen here. We are tracking the tropics still. Sarah's a 40-mile-an-hour tropical storm. It actually does look a little bit better on the satellite tonight. And by better, I mean you can you can clearly tell there are more robust thunderstorms here. I mean, uh, wouldn't shock me if there, this, this becomes close to hurricane status on Friday. We'll keep an eye out for that. You see the center is right along the Honduran coastline as of Thursday night. Now, there, there still is a lot of discrepancy here in the track. And what do I mean by that? Well, let me get in here where I can draw on this for you. Discrepancy meaning that if the storm were to track on this part of the cone, it certainly could become a Cat 1 or Cat 2 hurricane. If it goes inland, it's going to be a depression instantly. If it stays out over straddling the coast, like the Hurricane Center says, a tropical storm. So even within the cone, there still is a little bit of wiggle room in the intensity uh, over the next few days. But from there, it ends up over Mexico by Monday. And then next week, the, the Hurricane Center says this is going to fall apart Monday afternoon. To be honest, I don't really buy that. I'm kind of surprised that they're doing that. Um, but we'll see. The point is that this will be aimed into the Gulf. It emerges into the Gulf somewhere in here. And then the remnants will go towards Florida by Wednesday of next week. And we'll watch because there there is a little window here. Uh, we were looking at that at the weather office earlier. South of about that line, it is favorable for tropical development in the gulf north of there there's wind shear there's too cool of water so up here no but south of that line would not be a surprise at all if it re-strengthened whatever remnants are there once it gets into the gulf on monday and tuesday of next week so that's what we'll be watching for uh there i did want to make mention of something here um is that over the last few days there has been a momentous change in the track um Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and current, the, from yellow to black or right to left, these are the means of all of the computer models. So every model known to man is averaged together from these time frames. And look where it was on Monday, from Jamaica to Cuba to the Keys. And then it drastically pushed west and west, further west, more land interaction. Had we been on that right track, this certainly would have been a high-end hurricane. I have no doubt in my mind we would have had a cat three four or five uh, and in fact at one point we were looking at it in the weather office and every model showed a hurricane making landfall in florida we were getting to that point where it was starting to look like this was going to happen and then all of a sudden it pushed even further west and even further west and now today that black line is where it ended up becoming and so much more land interaction is what kept it down so what are we talking about in terms of florida well Here's the GFS model, which I actually think is doing a decent job with this. Notice it emerges into the Gulf. Now, let me get out of this autoplay mode so I can draw on it for you here. By the way, the first thing to know about on this chart is look over Florida. It's going to be a stellar weekend. I'm going to try to uh, – we've got some plans Saturday. I'm going to try to get to the beach on Sunday. It's just a lovely Florida weekend, sunny, dry. See this high? Remember, high pressure goes clock, uh, clockwise. This is what helped push Sarah south. So the nice weekend weather is what helped push Sarah down here further south as opposed to developing up here. So there is a meteorological reason why it developed further south. It's because of the nice weekend weather. That high is about 80 miles, 100 miles further south in turn where the center is, and hence why the track of Sarah was further west. Uh, now notice as we go into Monday, Look out west. This will be probably a decent severe weather tornado outbreak. Not major, but decent tornado day in eastern Oklahoma, Arkansas, and east Texas. There's a cold front, and then here's the remnants of Sarah. The cold front catches up with the energy from Sarah. They both meet, and it's possible. Uh, this is a setup being being a New Englander. This actually kind of gives me a lot of vibes to being in southern New England again, where you get a front that merges with low off the coast of Boston. Uh, Cape Cod, where you see a cold front and a low, and sometimes when they both meet, they can actually strengthen again. Uh, but in that case, it wouldn't probably be fully a tropical system. So that's why we're trying to make it clear to you that uh, even though the threat of a hurricane hitting Florida is pretty much gone at this point, once the remnant energy from Sarah meets up with this cold front, uh, it could form kind of a, a new low, if you will, just like a strong potent non-tropical low that comes across the peninsula with a lot of rain maybe some strong storms 
maybe a severe storm threat somewhere uh, south of where the new center is, and that would be next Wednesday. So I'm, I'm mentioning all that to say that it's a unique setup because there's a big cold front that's going to catch up with Sarah's remnants, and as they both catch into each other, forms a new low, and you'll see that. Notice Tuesday night, there's your new low. Uh, and in fact, the GFS model puts this back to tropical storm strength uh, by Tuesday night, uh, which I guess it's not impossible there would end up being tropical storm watchers or warnings for part of the West Coast uh, for Wednesday. So we'll keep an eye out for that that chance that this re-strengthens in the Gulf. But notice here on Wednesday, some rain, maybe some storms. Again, there's the center of the remnants right there. Notice all the rain here along and east of the center. Uh, then that pushes away. So are we going to get a hurricane out of this? No. Could we get a tropical storm? I guess. But even if it's not a tropical storm by definition, uh, we could end up with some rain and storms and wind next Wednesday from Sarah before it gets much cooler at the end of next week. So that's your tropical update for tonight. Brooks and Jess will be in Friday morning. We'll have much more on Fox 35. We appreciate you all watching. Have a good night.